good morning. Um, just got up. My alarm clock went off. It was funny. I haven't heard my alarm clock go, go off since the last time I worked. Like, that's how much I'm always waking up, like, early. Um, so I heard my alarm go off, and I am at my chiropractor's right now. I'm going to walk in there in a second and get adjusted. I'm bummed, though, because, like, I never sleep in, so I was really looking forward to it, but... Oh, well, I need to get this done. It's good to take care of my back and my neck. As a nurse, you got to do it. Um, so I'm going to get adjusted, and then i got some errands to run. I need to go to Old Navy and get some black flip-flops because I lost my only pair of black flip-flops at Slide the City. Um, so I'm out of black flip-flops. So all my flip-flops are like hot pink or like neon, and so none of them match any clothing. And then I need to get gas because I'm running low from our trip to Denver. And then I need to go grocery shopping because we have hardly any food. And when you don't have any food, you tend to eat junk food. So I need to start getting better on that. Um, not a health craze, but eating better. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I gotta go run some errands. I want to have lazy days though. I have to, I know it's coming up. I'm going to work three, have two off, work three. Like it's coming up to be a really busy schedule for work so I'm trying to just like let myself be lazy and get out of my head from saying like you need to do things and you need to go be productive like I'm trying to just say no it's okay to sit at home it's okay to do nothing it's okay to take naps it's okay to go to bed early like it's okay to relax because I'm gonna need it so I'm gonna do all that and then go be lazy so yeah um, I'm gonna go get my back popped and my neck fixed and start feeling good so when I do get busy um, I can start feeling better so day two without Andrew but it's good because he'll, that means he's one day closer to being home so I just miss him so I got my um, errands done and now I'm home um, chiropractor felt good everything's looking good with that it helps to get straightened out uh, if you're a nurse I'd highly recommend it even if nothing's wrong. Like, it's just good to get straightened out. And, hey! Stop eating my table! Stop eating my table! He's like chewing on the edges of my chairs and I don't get it. We have bought him so many chew toys, we have bought him so much stuff, and he still chews on like door stoppers and this table and like... Hey! Don't you hit me. Anywho, um... But yeah, so I got home, I went to Old Navy, and I went to get black flip-flops, and of course you end up getting way more. So I got this shirt, which I really like, um, and then I got, what are you doing? Hey! Don't hit them! Don't hit the camera, you little stinker. Got this shirt, got another kind of tank toppy thing I'm not too crazy about, but I like it and it's something I can put under stuff. And then I got this kind of cute like three quarter length sleeve kind of sweater thing that can go off the shoulder, so that's nice. Um, I have a terrible wardrobe, like, I don't know, I just, I don't really know much about fashion, so I really don't have good clothes so I decided like I'll go every time I'm out like I needed flip-flops or something like if I need I don't know socks or whatever like wherever I am I'll buy like two pieces two or three pieces of clothing so that way it's not like this giant haul where I buy so much stuff and then I'm like super broke so it's just like 20 30 bucks here and there just to try and update stuff um but yeah I did that and then I went grocery shopping and got stuff ready for the day and now I'm home I did laundry while well, I'm doing laundry I don't know if I hit start but I'm doing laundry clean the kitchen did the dishes yeah just another day I don't know like I'm struggling like I I don't know like, I don't want to make these, like, vlogs or whatever sad because I know they go on YouTube and people see them, but, like, I want to be honest. Like, these are kind of, like, my diaries. Like, these are things I remember my feelings by and my life by. And so, 
I'm just struggling. Like, Stephanie is awesome and, like, we're friends, but, like, I don't have a best friend yet. Like, I lived in Colorado Springs for a year now, and I don't have a best friend. And, like, I have Megan, which is in Denver, and then I have Em, who's in Ohio. And, like, Megan and I don't really see each other or talk all that much, and it's just, it is what it is, but, like, I'm really lonely. Like, I'm really lonely, and, you know, shopping today was getting out, but that was my only human contact, and, like, with Andrew being gone for the next eight days, like, yeah, it works, so I'll get contact there, but, like, for the most part, I'm on my own. Like, I can't just text somebody and be like, hey, come, you know, hang out, or let's go see a movie or whatnot. Like, I'm just on my own, and... That's fine, and I'm really good at being by myself, but I'm also lonely, like, I don't know, and like, I've never been diagnosed with depression, but I do think I have borderline issues with all sorts of things, and when I'm alone, like, yeah, I like being alone, I do like having days where I don't talk to people and I just sit at home and do nothing, like, I enjoy that, but I feel like if I go a long time all by myself, like, then I get closer and closer to depression and I don't want that um, and Andrew's gone and like I, I miss him and I know that's silly and I know I know it's silly that I'm this emotional over Andrew being gone like it's not that big a deal he's in Denver we text we talk it's it's not that big a deal but like I miss him and I feel alone and I I don't know. I just feel like so many people around me are living their lives. Like, he goes to Denver and has his job, and he hangs out with friends and all these things, and like, friends from work, like, it's hard to make, like, real lasting friendships because they already, already have a life. And I just feel like everybody's life is moving except for mine. Like, I feel like I waste days at home just sitting here and yeah I get things done that need to be done but like I feel like there's literally days that like could have not happened and nothing would change and it was just hard like it just and I used to be such an outgoing person in high school I used to be so outgoing and had a ton of friends and went and did things and now I just I don't like I don't know and I and, like, it's silly that I need to depend on people to be happy, but I truly believe that, like, humans are social creatures. And if you don't have friends, if you don't have that social circle, if you don't have people to enrich your life, then what's... What does that life matter? What, like, not matter, but, like, where do you find enjoyment and fulfillment from it? And I just kind of feel empty, you know, and when Andrew's here, we go out and we do things, and, you know, but the friends we have are, like, his friends, so, like, if, like, Ryan and Lindsay come over, it's because, like, Ryan is Andrew's friend, and, like, I don't know, and, like, that's why I want to get involved in a church, because then, like, the people, hopefully I make a community and then I start having friends that way and like hopefully Stephanie and I get closer, like that'd be really awesome too, but like, I don't know. I was driving home from the grocery store and like realized that's the most human interaction I'm gonna have. Like, I don't know. this vlog here, or at least today's vlog. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna feed the animals, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired from doing absolutely nothing, and hey, I did leave the house today, so moving up in the world. But, what is he doing? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end the vlog here. What? 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 You being weird? You being
empathetic. Anyway, ending it here. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired, but. What was that? Ah. Anyway, if you watch this vlog, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!